Hello, welcome back to Falcon Blues TV. Alright, yeah, nice. um, interesting yeah. week this week, Paul. Yeah, it's been busy, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, what what do you think about these new signings? You know, Alan, uh, Adelaide Ucore, and James David Rodriguez. I'm going to include the David because we're sharing names. But yeah, um, three really good signings that are definitely going to improve this Everton side as we go into tomorrow's game against Tottenham. Um, Four thirty kickoff. Yeah, at their place, no fans. Well, the bollocks. Yeah. It, it, football without fans to me is not, and as you know, as that that saying keeps going. Um, I don't know. I, I just the whole season again, starting again, it's just a little bit dull, monotonous, and it, I think until um, fans are in, then I'm excited. But I am looking forward to tomorrow, but I don't know what you mean without the fans. It's, it's just doesn't feel right. Does it, it, it's but friendlies. That's all they are. I don't. Um, I don't know. Do you guys will start tomorrow? Do you not think? I don't think so. No. I think Alan and do du- Corey may start, but we don't know how fit they are as well. You know what I mean? Well, according to Ancelotti earlier in the week, Alan is ready to go. Oh, uh, du- du- should be as well. He hasn't had much pre-season with Watford, but apparently he has been training and keeping keeping sharp. It, I think it's all the hammers really. I mean, he might get like thirty minutes in the second half. Maybe yeah, come on, that's a sub only. Yeah. Um, how do you think they'd line up? Because obviously it's still going to be the back four as usual. Yeah. And, so, yeah, people are talking about like a 4 3 3, aren't they? But yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I suppose we're going to find out tomorrow. Um, I'd, I'd stick with 4 4 for now. I think with Carlo's mentality, the way he has been running, I think that I, it might be leading up to playing a 4 3 3. With the size of 4 3, it'd be like Takora, Allen, Gomez. Gomez, or like. maybe Sigurdsson. It just depends on who's, who's fit and who he decides upon on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then if he's going with 3, it probably would be Hammers. Carvel Lewin and Richarlison yeah, up top. Yeah. Could even be Moise Keane. Make it Moise Keane a shot. Maybe. And then, you know, last 30, last 30 minutes, second half, give Hammers a, a try in there. We just yeah. don't know. Let us know what you think in the comments of, you know, how we're going to line up tomorrow. It'll be definitely interesting to see, see what we're going to be doing. But, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't want to talk about rumours and stuff like that, but we, 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 had, we had a little bit of a rumour before that uh, Hudson Adoy and um, Tamari are actually at Finch Farm either going over the motions of a medical and you know negotiations to come in alone. Happy days, I think another winger with Hudson Adoy, I think he's a terrific player, really really good talent. I, I did see Chelsea fans on Twitter moment saying that they'd rather um, keep him. Well they're looking for another winger so they yeah, can't so, see them letting go out. But well, if the we, way they're spending money. I think what they're saying is with Kai Havertz coming in, yeah. it, it sort of pushes Hudson Adoy further down the path well, order. A lot of those young players that did well last season because they couldn't sign anyone. Unfortunately, they're getting pushed out now, aren't yeah. they? You know and I mean? it's a shame because Lampard was doing so well with all these kids that he had at his disposal and that he's had to, you know, he, he, he's been waiting for this moment really to just go out and spend. But, you know, if if, if, the, if these two come in, they'll definitely improve Everton. You yeah, know, definitely, yeah. Especially um, Mason Holgate being out long term injured. Six weeks, did Six weeks, yeah. Six yeah, with a broken toe. We thought that, suspected that when he went off. Against the uh, dinghy uh, against Preston, but it's one of those things. But another centre half does fill the void and helps, you know, it bolsters that side. I think, you know, I think still there's space for extra recruitment. Probably looking at Fullback. Arias, wasn't it? Was it Arias at Atletico? Three half crown of Arias. Yeah. So, well, that's, that, so even if he signed, it could be a fortnight before yeah. he comes in. But apparently, you know, to fill that gap at right back for Shane's Yeah, Coleman. yeah, someone could do another right back. Yeah. We don't know how much faith he's got in John Joe Kenny, do we? I don't think Kenny's. Uh, even though he's been given a squad number, I don't think he'd be, he'd be around much longer if, you know, Arias comes in and yeah. the right money comes in for him. I think if an offer came in for John Joe Kenny. I think they've got money. I think they've got money. I don't think they can afford I don't think they can afford them. But, you know, let us know what you think. Do you think John Joe Kenny's got a future at Goodison still? Uh, Arias is, you know, coming in from Atletico Madrid. I know they ended up getting uh, Trippier from Tottenham because of him, as a result of him being poor. But, you know, again, this is Ancelotti. And, you know, if it's players he wants, then Ancelotti should go. It should be, you know, go and get whoever Ancelotti wants. Yeah. But looking at tomorrow, um, I've not seen any Tottenham news to... to, um, to no. Really upset Everton. Apart from, from watching that documentary, like 
last season. I couldn't, I couldn't watch it. I had to stop watching it when um, I said I said this Tom in Hardy. text. When Tom, Tom Hardy still sounded like Bane came out. No, it, listen, it, it would have been a, it's so much better if it was like, oh yes. When Jose he, Mourinho, no, you know. But when he came out and said <laughs> Jose Mourinho's here to try and bring back the glory days to 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 talk about what glory days they haven't won the league in sixty years. Wow. You know, the you know the FA Cup, oh, FA Cup in longer than Everton. That show would be so you much know, better now if Tom Hardy was just being throughout it. Yeah, let's not stand on ceremony here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if someone needs to be at that show, I would just quote from Bane. She's from Paris and Hoff again. But yeah, it's like a camp star <laughs> thing. <wasn't it? laughs> just, oh, yeah. camp day. <laughs> um, anyway, so what are your thoughts for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Predictions. One all draw. <sighs> no, I'm going for a win. I'm back in Everton. No, I'm, I'm fully in the Everton camp here. I've beat Spurs since 2012. So two that one. needs to change. 2 right? 1. I think it's going to be a tricky game because I think Spurs, you know, are Spurs are Spurs and we're Everton. But yeah. I, think, I think, you know, this. This revitalised midfield that we've now got. It, it, and let's face it, it's revitalised. It's got players in there that can actually yeah, play, that's, that's play football, and that's what we've lacked for bit so, of so long. Bit biting midfield, some tackles getting put in, hopefully. We've lacked it for so so long that I think you know we're not having to bypass some energy midfield. in the midfield yeah. as well. We're not having to bypass a midfield that is just utter dross. Yeah. So I'm going for a two-one win. Okay. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because without you, we're just two assholes talking on our phone. So until then, we'll do a re uh, review after the game. Hopefully, with all three Positive, points in two yeah. one. Until then, up the fucking toffees. Chong chong. See you in a bit. Oh, easy. <clears throat>